public relations is an essential cornerstone to every business method, especially for small businesses to raise awareness. Hello and welcome. I am Ola Koeno. This is Business Matters. Summary from the floor of the Nigerian Stock Exchange. have examined and discovered that the relationship between effective use of public relations and attainment of organizational goals is key to business survival. Small and medium businesses use numerous tools to promote their company products or services. Let's take our spotlights on SMEs. Hello and welcome to the professional segment of Business Matters. With me today is a public relations expert, Inkechi Ali Balogun. Welcome, Ma. Thank you very much. She has been the principal consultant at Nechi Consulting, as well as the one-time chairman of the Institute of Public Relations, Lagos Chapter. Thank you for gracing our stage today. Thank you very much. So we're speaking about PR. So, and you are the expert, so we want to know from you. So tell us about PR. Well, public relations is about um, man. Um, it engenders relationship with man. It's interested in relationships. It fosters unity. It fosters understanding. It brings uh, about uh, um, very um, symbiotic relationships, you know, positive relationships, mutually beneficial relationship. So public relations tries to bring about a win-win situation where the clients will work and then the consumer will also be happy to work. In a nutshell, public relations, it helps you to, it's a deliberate action that brings about understanding within the society where you operate, all right? For instance, public relations will help you to analyze trends. Okay. It will help you to predict consequences. Okay. It will also help you to counsel organizations and their leaders. And it will help you to come up with a planned, deliberate program of action that you will follow through in, a, in order to um, make profit. And profit in this sense could be a good relationship, Profit in this sense could be goodwill. Profit in this sense could be peace. Okay. Profit in this sense could also be um, cooperation. Whatever it is you are seeking to get from the environment, it helps you to study the environment, know their nuances, know what they need, know how you can relate with them, know their culture, know their lifestyle. And with that in mind, you are able to come up with an action plan that will make you survive in that environment and at the same time, you know, achieve your goal. Okay. So that in a nutshell is what public relations So is. what I got from this symbiotic relationship is that public relations is like a connection between the, the company and the Exactly, consumer. And, the, and the consumer and the or what we call the target audience. Because in public relations, you must have an audience that you are targeting. Okay. So, Public relations bring you closer to that target audience through planned actions. That brings me to my next question, actually. How does public relations affect business? Oh, in so many ways. Okay. Okay. Let's take, for instance, one of the things I say public relations does. Predict analyzing trends. Okay. There are so many trends right now. And there are so many tools you can use to analyze trends. Let's take PESO, for instance. All right. Public relations helps you to look at the political trend, for instance. If you are in business and, and uh, you want to know 
how the politics will affect your business. It is the job of the public relations departments to help you analyze that trend okay. and know the things you could do and the things you cannot do. For instance, we all know that uh, 20, uh, 2019 is an election year. True. And we also know that well, maybe true or false, there's always scarcity of money, there's always scarcity of this and that. Yes. So public relations allows you to know the impact. How is this going to affect your business? Is this the best time to recruit? Is this the best time to lay off? Now, is this the best time to bring a new product into the scene? And if we have to bring a new product into the scene, what kind of product? All right, if you're in the manufacturing business, for instance, is this a time that people are going to buy? All right. So you see that, for even without asking, you see how we can support even the marketing department to find out about the needs of the society. You don't just put your product, push your product because you think this is what I want to do. Okay. Is this what the people want? And if it's what they want, is this how they want it? And if is this is, if this is how they want it. Are you able to make it accessible to people? What would you do? So these are the kind of things that public relations helps you to do. There seems to be a faint line between public relations and advertising because as you're speaking about it, I'm just thinking, you know, this could also be looking like advertising. So why is public relations distinct from advertising? Or how is it distinct? Public relations is very distinct from advertising. Okay. Um, public relations will deal with people we relate with people. We go to where they are. We know their age, their lifestyle. Their, 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 we call it the demography. Okay. Okay, who are these people? What is their religion? What are their likes? What are their dislikes? All right? All, ad all advertising does is to visualize some of this content. Sure. Okay, public relations produces the content while advertising visualizes the content. Okay, so let's bring it back home. You know, we have a lot of small businesses m m emerging, mm -hmm. and public relations seems like, you know, such a big word. Like public relations, it seems like, you know, the pu public relations consultant, you know, it seems such a big word. So, how do these people take, use public relations? How do they get access to public relations? It's actually out of ignorance. <laughs> um, it's a big word, yes, because it does big things. Sure. It's a big word because uh, if properly used, can transform your life. Sure. It can actually make you make your business and your life easy. Okay. All right, and then it, it, it can open doors. You know, public relations is something that everybody must. Uh, be in tune with okay. because it it, it, all, it it plans your life okay. it gives you a profile it manages your perception it builds your reputation it, it brings your best foot forward so it, whether you are big or small you need a public relations practitioner in your life okay. sometimes it may not be that expensive all right because public relations people will work according to your budget okay. all right and then uh, little tips here and there it doesn't have to cost you money well, when I say it doesn't have to cost you money, it doesn't have to cost you so much money. But it's always good to have a PR person. So don't be scared. Don't forget about the name. Forget about the consultants you see. All right? For instance, let's take, let's take a manufacturing uh, company. company that is into a business where there is plenty of waste. Okay. And you'll find that the community around them will always be uh, protesting. So what do you do? Public relations will go into this environment. Okay. We have a lot of waste. What are your suggestions? How, what can both of us do? Because we we'll have to be in business. Yeah. What can we do to better? They can come up with, okay, do so, 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 and so. Uh, dig gutters for us. Um, they can list. That is why the planned program of actions. It has to be planned. Uh, so you see people going into such an area. They can start something on environment. They can start something on a cleaning. They can start something on a health. You know, by the time they do that, you quell the anger of the, the community. And then they're able to say, okay, uh, since you're able to do all this, we'll allow you to do this. So it's a win-win situation for both the company and the consumer. Mm -hmm. It would seem that public relations is very vital for survival of a business. Yeah. It's very, very vital f for survival for a business. Um, in this, uh, luckily, a lot of people are beginning to 
understand the impact of public relations. In those days, people thought that public relations was just the press relations. Uh, you come, you take pictures and be in the first pages of the newspaper. No, public relations is much beyond that. It's very vital for the life of the business. Without goodwill, a business will not survive. And most of the work that public relations does is to buy you goodwill, to give you good reputation. Of the people. From the CEO to the gates man, okay. right? We are all in the business of making sure that the uh, brand comes out very strong. And that is where perception management comes. Okay. All right? We want to see that you are complying with govern, uh, government policies. We want to see that you have crisis communication in place. Okay. We want to see that you have internal communication. A lot of people don't know that internal communication is where innovation starts. Productivity it encourages staff. In fact, your brand, uh, the, the, the strength of your brand starts internally. Mm -hmm. And so you must be able to have internal communication beyond external communication. You want to have um, um, plans as to how you want to relate to the press. Not when crisis comes, you are looking for uh, one man or the other. You already have these things planned out. You already have a strategy. You already know who to speak when there is a problem. You already know who to go to, which stakeholder will help you. You already know the strength of the CEO and his limitations. All these things are what public relations helps you to do. And then it's not something you just do overnight, only when there is an issue. No, it's planned, it's deliberate, from it's the intentional. Beginning the from the beginning, from the concept from the concept stage, from the board to where you are beginning to design a product yes. or design the life of a business, you the PR person the should be there. Market, yes, because it will help you even in designing your logo, even in uh, the kind of colors you do it, because mm -hmm. we want to know what exactly, what message you want to pass across? What uh, kind of uh, life do you want to impact? Also, that way we'll come up with a vision, we'll come up with um, a strategy. Uh, yeah, you name it. So this is what PR helps you to do. So at the end of the day, you say, oh, wow, I love their colors. Mm -hmm. Ah, this red. You are able to tell the world why you chose red. Mm -hmm. Because every color has uh, a power behind it. Okay, you find some organizations, they, they, they want black, they want red, they want yellow, they want green. Why? There must be, you don't just come and splash colors, okay? Before the chief executive goes out, we'll tell him even how to dress. Okay. Yes, there are places, you must, if you are a, 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 a female chief executive, there are places you should not go with your skirt suit okay. because of their culture. So... These are little, little things. In fact, great, great little things, you know, <laughs> that, that help, help the whole relationship. Yeah. I noticed yeah. that public relationship and um, public relations help relationships. Everything you're speaking about is uh, the it's relationship between relation. one person yeah. and another person. It uh, doesn't and the community. Uh, yeah. just it helps you in your home. It helps all you kinds of marriage. It helps you in all kinds of relationships. Okay. With the advent of um, social media, you know, how have you been able to transcend from the regular public relations to public relations for well, we do public relations online okay no doubt that uh, social media has kept everybody on their toes sure. <laughs> uh, and then uh, you know that uh, there's a virtual life out there that uh, does not need there's that that that's democratic in nature yes uh, it doesn't need anybody's permission to do anything to so, say anything so an organization must do proper public relations online, which means there must be somebody dedicated to See social media to make sure that you monitor and evaluate the things that are happening on social media. For instance, today, in those days we used to talk about the golden hour in crisis. Today, there's nothing like the golden hour. We are talking about the golden second. Mm -hmm. Because as soon as it happens, even as we are speaking, maybe somebody is busy taking my picture or taking the picture <laughs> of both of us and posting it. And before you know it, another person is sharing, all right? And then from there, you get your feedback. Some people say, oh, why is she sitting like that? And there's a scandal. And if it's a scandal, you can yes, imagine. Yes, you can imagine. How you can works. imagine. And then, of course, in these days where there's a lot of uh, doctoring, uh, happening, especially with your pictures, Photoshop, and everything. Because you of put the somebody advancement said, of technology. Yeah, yeah, a lot of crime is also being uh, committed on online. So it is the duty of the public relations department to make sure that you yes, have exactly you are 
we are safeguarded at least to monitor what is happening online. True, there are uh, cases, I mean, it's not like public relations has all the answers. Yes. But at least we can go uh, a, a long way in trying to curb um, embarrassments that an organization can have. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, in this country, we wait until we have the embarrassments. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at our schools today. Today, we are hearing our schools uh, having a lot of crisis issues. And little problems that could have been nipped in the board, you know, become very explosive because they are not prepared. And then you go to them, they are not ready. And when this thing happens, they come running and it's too late. People always come to you to manage, to manage, to manage the damage. The crisis. All right? Yeah. But we would rather preempt the damage and prevent it, you know, and uh, help you to build a strong brand. Because without public relations, you can actually destroy what you have taken years to build in a second. Okay. And that brings us, you're talking about school, so I'm, I'm thinking public relations for politics, the government, how do you see the public relations of Nigeria <laughs> as a whole? How are we doing <laughs> as an expert? We're still not there. Okay. We're still not there. The uh, reason being that uh, even government has not been able to distinguish between media and public relations. Government still thinks that uh, what they need is media, but they forget that media needs content. They forget that public relations is actually what they need because public relations is what helps them to understand their constituencies, you know, and bring their constituencies closer to them. We have a lot of issues today. I mean, change begins with me. Fine, very good. I mean, bright idea, all right? But do they, how many people know about it? Even the ease of business. How many Nigerians can talk about the ease of business? All right? Uh, you have lofty ideas, but you have not been able to, to relate it to, relate to, it to the, the people. people who will need it. And so they don't know about it. Mm, true. They don't know about it. So it's not enough us writing it in the paper, call all the journalists, press release. No, it's beyond that. We must have a planned uh, strategy, strategy all right, to reach the people engage them, include them, all right? It's only through inclusion, through engagement that some of these things will happen, all right? If they are able to buy in into some of these innovations, some of these uh, initiatives, then they understand it. Because with understanding, people, you can gain people's support. But when they don't know what you are doing, if you ask people, a lot of people now, what's the ease of business about? They don't they know. Have no idea. They have no idea. They haven't been able to. They haven't the been able to because we still believe that so oh, once it's done in Abuja and then few places in Lagos we are on. Oh, well, okay. You are not on. You've not gone to the grassroots. Okay, look at the uh, vates. As brilliant as that idea is, it's not known in the grassroots. It's not known. It's our public servants don't even know what vates is. True. All right. Even some people in this Lagos they don't know what vates is. Is that enough doing some flyers and you keep it at the airport? Somebody comes to what is VATES? <laughs> Who will benefit from it? Who will not benefit from it? What do we do to assess it? Do you know that ordinary VAT, a lot of people are looking for professionals, uh, auditors to do VAT for them. Okay. But this is something you can easily walk into um, inland revenues and do your returns every day. Mm -hmm. But we don't have education. That is worth Lack of knowledge. enlightenment. We enlighten the people, we raise awareness, mm -hmm. we foster understanding, you know, for That brings us to my concluding question. So just you know, we have the audience watching us, they've been listening to this our interesting topic, public relations. So advise them, what do you think the government needs to do, the companies need to do? Well, I think we have said it all in a nutshell, but I'll tell you that a brand that wants to remain strong, especially the brand Nigeria, you need public relations. You cannot build a brand without public okay. relations. All right, thank you very much, Mom. This is the much you can take on this segment of Business Matters. Stay tuned, the program continues. Products are made in Nigeria products, which we need to emphasize. They are handmade, bespoke, and uh, they are a combination of pure leather and our ethnic fabrics. This one is called a 
Like today, express. This I named after my mom. So this is leather. This is copper dam. And this is Ankara. This is called Dr. Stella Adadeva. This we named after the doctor that died in the course of it. Our products are named after successful and important Nigerian women. This is called Atmokeoida. So she's a retired public secretary in Lagos State. She was in charge of uh, primary health care. And uh, I said, okay, we're not just going to do all the millionaires. We're also going to appreciate the civil servants. This is made out of leather and fabric. But what we've done is to also beat it. We beaded this. This is done with needle and thread. This is also made out of our ethnic fabric and um, snake skin. Now this is a fully beaded bag. They hand beaded. It's called the Obashi embellished bags. They are extremely affordable for those who know the quality. They range between 60 and 200. We also have luggages that are made out of fabrics and leather. And they're very durable. It's an online store. We do e-commerce. But you can go on our website. It's www.thepottersignature.com. And we have an Instagram handle. It's uh, TPS underscore bags. Or you can call me. 0708-405-4748. 24 hours, we pick your call. Finally, we'll bring you business success tips. strategy has its own importance on the survival of an organization. That wraps up this week's edition of Business Matters. Please do reach us on our various social media platforms. Till I come your way next time, I am O. Aperman.